how long has it been since I've done an M Shops here on YouTube? I think it's been a minute. And the reason why is not because I have stopped shopping for beauty products, but it's because I tend to show the things I buy on a more rolling basis during the weekly lives that I do. So I go live every single week for either a get ready with me most of the time, but once a month I also do a live Q&A for Patreon. So as things come in, I tend to just throw that into the weekly live and show and test. And that's how I've kept on top of showing things. But I kind of had a, a lot of things all at once really over, I guess, the last month. I really had to strictly limit myself just to beauty for this video. I started thinking, oh, I could show these new sourdough books that I have, like four new <laughs> sourdough books. I really wanna do a beauty and bread episode here on YouTube too, so stay tuned. I've been really into sourdough bread baking for the last year and I've been integrating it with beauty content showing that on Patreon. Um, and while we're on the topic of Patreon, just really quickly before we get into today's products, I did wanna let you know that as of October 1st, I'm just restructuring things over there. I'm gonna continue on. I've been on there for six years. It's been such a great experience and a really wonderful way to create some community as well as to keep Lamore going without doing any sponsored work and to just really stay true to myself and have some integrity in this like very crazy online influencer world. But I am gonna be consolidating all of my tiers and simplifying everything into just one tier on Patreon. I'm tired of having to constantly kind of remind people that like, well, you can listen to the podcast here, but then if you're at the lives, you get the video and the podcast and the live Q&A and the live Get Ready With Me. I just want it all to be one. It's going to be just $20 a month for access to everything. And that includes access to six years of archived material as well. So there are hundreds and hundreds of videos there and then everything moving forward so that means that anyone can join the lives i stream them through youtube it's very easy very straightforward so i think it's a good value especially because you're getting access to so much archived material as well so if you have been missing my more regular uploads here on youtube i hope that you'll consider maybe coming to patreon for 20 dollars a month I'll have the annual memberships turned on at a 10% discount. So that ends up being, I think, a $24 savings. So you basically get a month and a little bit of change free if you do an annual membership. And I hope that you'll consider it. So thanks for listening to my spiel. And now let's talk about some beauty products. All right, I wanna start with two Manasi orders that I placed. So if you follow me on Instagram, this will not be new if you've been attending my lives. This won't necessarily be new. Before these were released, I placed an order uh, directly through Manasi because I really wanted to try their face balm cleanser. The name of this product is Botanical Cleanser Collis, C-A-U-L-I-S. It is an emulsifying cleansing balm, uh, but it has just this really wonderful texture. You can also leave it on as a moisturizing mask. You can see I have been using it so I have a really good feel for the product. It would be a repurchase for me. It is completely unscented, so do bear that in mind. Uh, that could be a positive or a slight negative for some people depending on the kind of skincare experience that you want to have but it's gentle it's very effective i really enjoy using it i can do a double cleanse with this it's so good at breaking down makeup and spf all of the stuff that kind of accumulates on your face throughout the day you can rinse it clean you can remove it with a cloth and i just find that i have really soft nice skin after i use this I also had been meaning to and finally picked up their latest ColourPop release. This is Rohizo. I'm gonna say that now having, as you know, if you watched my last video, you know, all the colors that Manasi does. Uh, this is probably the easiest pink to wear. Previously, I would have said Furusato is the easiest pink to wear, which it really depends. I think Rohizo might be better for cooler skin tones slightly and Furusato might be better for warmer skin tones, but I think that they're both, out of all the pinks, a true skin, uh, bisque, chamoise, dianthus, I think Rohizo is just, for me, it's like a perfect pinky nude. Furusato has that like a little bit more brightness or kick to it, but also quite neutral. Um, so I'm extremely happy with this. I need to make a little pan of it and stick it. There's a little spot for it waiting right there. I also decided to get another strobe lighter. Now this was a, a formula that I had kind of struggled with. I had created a little pan of the strobe lighter in Elysian and it changed texture slightly, but for the better. 
And that was the only texture change I experienced doing that whole depot. Um, so I will depot Celestial as well. Have I even said the name of this one? <laughs> Celestial. Uh, this is in the family of RMS Living Luminizer. So it's a pearly highlight. I'm wearing it today and I absolutely freaking love it. So I feel like I have, you know, a neutral cool highlight. Elysian is more my neutral warm. It really depends on the rest of the makeup or the look that I'm going for. This is also really beautiful to create just a glow kind of everywhere. So I've done that look as well. It's perfection. I'm very happy with it. And then I also got a new Manasi 7 mascara. Third tube of this, it's good. Uh, it's as good as my first tube. So I had a good first tube. I had a lackluster second tube. And now my third tube is good again. Um, it takes a little bit of time to build it up, but I do, I mean, aesthetically, I love it. The glass packaging, I love. Uh, it's not super, super volumizing, but it's volumizing enough and it is pretty lengthening as well. Then a couple of weeks later, after I had placed and received that order, Manasi decided to release a brand new product, these eye and lip color pencils. There's seven of them in total. And the same day I got the mailer in the morning and by 10 a.m. I had placed an order for all seven. With the exception of the red, they're all meant to be used either on the eyes or the lips, although you're probably not gonna use the black on the lips unless you're working with color theory. Uh, in which case maybe you would. These colors here, these four, really are very interchangeable between eyes and lips. Even the berry shade Castell, which I did a whole live replicating the look that Manasi 7 did uh, for like the promotional materials for these pencils. They did the most beautiful look featuring Castell. It's probably one of my favorite makeup looks I've done all year. I have been extremely happy with these. They are smooth and creamy they're long lasting they sharpen beautifully i love the way they look in my makeup bag the pigmentation the clarity the saturation the quality i mean i could go on and on i have swatched these extensively on lives i do think i also have some swatches on instagram if you go on to lamori la musique there's manasi highlight reels and i have swatches of lots of stuff on there so you just kind of have to dig but i did want to mention them here because they are a recent purchase and if they come out with more shades i mean pretty much anything manasi comes out with i'm gonna buy it's my favorite makeup brand of all time and i really love i'm loving their skincare as well that they've ventured into this year i would love to see them do a bronzy eye pencil and I would also love to see them do a bright fuchsia pink lip pencil and then I would also like to see them do sort of an indigo navy blackened navy type of eye pencil those are my wish lists if they decide to expand the color range for these okay one more makeup item this was actually sent to me in PR and I, I wanted this video to really be products I bought and this is the only exception but I do think it's worth mentioning because this is a brand I use a lot Gressa eye tints and this is the shade terracotta and um, this came in the matte classics i mean you can buy it as a single but it was sent to me as part of the matte classics collection which also features the shades butter rum roasted nev and then this new release terracotta um to me terracotta is slightly a misnomer for this shade it's really more of like a taupey mushroom um, I don't really find it warm at all. I guess it, it depends on how colors show up on your skin tone. There is a bit of orange in it, but to me it's kind of more pinky, taupey, mushroomy. And you know, when you hear terracotta, you think more of like an orangey brown. Now they do have another shade that I don't have yet. I think it's called Burnt Sienna, but I, I could be wrong. It's like a, almost like a Manasi Kobicha, so a, a warmer brown shade that uh, I would like to also add to my collection. So I think I still personally slightly prefer, prefer butter rum to this shade, but I wore this yesterday and depending on what I'm wearing, it does look really pretty. It's quite close to my natural skin tone. So it's a nice, just easy, polished look for daytime, very work appropriate, daytime appropriate. So a nice staple. I think my L'Amour 20% off code still works, but I'm not sure for how much longer it's going to work. So just bear that in mind if you are looking to use a code, discount code. I think the time is limited for Gressa affiliate codes. Skincare. Um, I bought these right when they released, these two limited edition seasonal releases from Laurel, the Radiance Compound and the Hydrating Elixir C. 
I think she releases a version of these every year and I have never gotten them before. In fact, I had kind of moved a little bit away from Laurel just because I felt like Earthwise really supplanted the role that this brand had in my routine. Um, and then I had tried a couple products, like namely the Calendula Mist, which was like a huge mist for me. I ended up not finishing it. I disliked it pretty pretty, pretty strongly, but I felt like it was maybe time to revisit and see how I felt about Laurel. And I'm happy with both of these. To me, the winner is actually surprisingly the mist. I thought I was gonna maybe be middling on the mist and really love this. I, I like this and I love this. For me, this is just a little bit strange. It's kind of takes the place of a serum, but it's like a watery concentrate, almost like a tincture uh, type of texture. So the, the issue that I have with this is just that you feel like you wanna apply a lot more than you need. You're only supposed to use three to four drops of this. So I think it's best either pressed into the skin, even though you feel like you wanna use more than is necessary, um, or mixing it with a cream or an oil, if you can get it to mix in, uh, would also be an application method for that. This mist is one of, probably one of my favorite releases this year. I think it'll probably make it into Best of Beauty 2023. Um, it's just jo a joy to use. That's all I can say. I mean, it's a mist. It's not doing anything revolutionary. But I guess it's it, this is a product where it's more the sensory experience, the feeling it creates, the energy of it, if you will, is exquisite. Um, it just, it has almost, um, jasmine is the first thing come, that comes forward, but it's almost like a, a deep, woodsy, very unique jasmine. And there's quite a lot of nice layers because it has frankincense, sandalwood, and then these whole plant extracts of hibiscus and camu. So these are very nice and very complimentary. Uh, so if you're in the market for just a new treat uh, to carry you through this fall skin transition, I do, I do think these are really nice. Sorry, you can hear all of that heavy machinery. Infiori recently celebrated their 24 year anniversary which is wild. Julia is just such a veteran in this industry and continues to really surpass my expectations with the products that she comes out with and the experience that, that her stuff delivers. So um, they had a gift with purchase. They're probably also gonna be doing a Black Friday type of gift with purchase. Uh, Infiore never discounts their products. So the way that they sort of say thank you to their customer base is doing these really nice gift with purchases. Probably quarterly, I would say they come. Um, so for me, that's always the best time to pick something up. So I needed a new V Claire Supreme. I actually haven't even opened these yet. I've been waiting to film this video. This will now be my third jar of this eye cream. I have, I mean, you guys probably know, I have tried so many, I've tried so many of everything, okay? But consistently one of the categories of products that I am the most underwhelmed by are eye products. I just don't think that they merit the expense a lot of times. Um, but this is a product that to me is really worth the price because it's just a wonderful texture. It provides exactly the right amount of moisture for AM or PM. I don't have to tweak it. I love the experience. I love the pot. If you use it AM and PM, I find a pot will last you about six months. Uh, so yeah, this is going right into my top shelf to be put into use. And then the gift with purchase that I got for that lower order minimum was a full size Fleur Vibrant balm. I haven't had this balm around in my life in quite a long time. I don't necessarily need a balm, but will I use this? Yes, I will. This is, I guess I would consider it a flagship Infiore product. Uh, it's the quintessential Infiore scent profile. I feel like everybody can kind of use a balm. It's not a particularly heavy balm either, I find. Gorgeous balm. Before Black Friday, I would like to get a review out of their Japan Edit products, the micellar water, the, it's like a gel cream hydrating product for more oily skin types, and then the Intensive Mask System. I bought those when they released and I've been using them and I have a lot to say about them and I feel like that would be something people would be interested in in advance of Black Friday. So that's something I'm kind of like always meaning meaning to do. All right, I placed a beauty habit order because they were having 20% off. There's a lot of sales going on. Speaking of anniversary sales, 
At the time I'm filming this, Beauty Heroes is having their nine year anniversary sale. I just placed a big order, but you know, I can't wait around forever to do this video. So that's just gonna have to get shown elsewhere. Uh, Beauty Habit was having 20% off and I picked up, I guess just these two things. For some reason I thought that I got more, but I really needed a new nail polish remover and, uh, oh, I think it was just 20% off makeup is the sale sale that I did. So I got this Cure Bazaar nail polish remover. They have two of them in the range. This is the bamboo and ginger. They also have a rose one that's meant to be a little bit more hydrating but I opted for this one because the reviews on the other one were not that good and I also thought it would be too similar to this very crappy nail polish remover, the 10 over 10 rose soak, horrible. I don't like this at all. Uh, previously, I've liked the Ayla Beauty nail polish uh, remover products like the wipes and also just their remover in the jar, but I wanted to try something new. Now, this came like a little bit damaged. Uh, there was no, you know how when you buy liquid products, a lot of times they're supposed to have like a sealed cap here. It didn't have that, so I don't know if it's just, it doesn't have that in their manufacturing, but you can see the letters are starting to wear off because the product had started to leak out. It leaked into the box. It's just kind of unsightly for a f expensive nail polish remover. Um, so I emailed them about it and they basically just offered me like a little bit of a percentage back. So it, I, I kinda, I'm kinda over beauty habit, I, I have to say. I mean, they do have some nice, interesting thing, curiosities that you can't really find elsewhere, but I've heard this from other people too, like the experience just like, you expect it to feel a little bit more special than it is. The products are not like packaged that well. Um, and then they also do, I hate to say this, they have a tendency to send out like old, um, older products. I don't think that they're as good at keeping their stock fresh. So for example, I would not recommend buying Manasi from them, at least the cream color pots. I've just heard too many issues of people having expired ones or like ones that already smell off by the time they're received by the customer. They were the first stockist to start carrying the Manasi pencils that I saw, followed by Ayla. Uh, Boxwalla, I don't know if they are, but they might start carrying them too. You know, I'm not telling anybody that they should or shouldn't shop there. I'm just saying I'm kind of like, I'm kind of over, over it unless they have something. And I guess that is why I shop with them. They have products that I can't really get anywhere else. Anyway, the other thing I decided to get was this Living Libations Raven Mascara because it was 20% off and I really just wanted to have it as a data point in my own product testing. This is retails for $60, which I think is excessive. I, I really do. These are both in glass packaging, the Manasi and the Living Libation. So they kind of use that as a selling point that the glass is expensive, which it is, but I think that the Manasi mascara is 37, I want to say. Uh, the brush gets uh, excess product on it, which I don't love. I've used this a couple of times on my lives and it's better than I expected it to be. It is a rubberized wand, which tends to not be my favorite, but it's pretty good. Um, it's, it's buildable. It doesn't flake or smudge on me. It's pretty easy to remove, but I need a little more time with it. So that's a very preliminary first impression. So I bought two of these recently, one for my husband Kave, and then I decided to get one for myself. And this is my second order because Kave decided he liked it and I had tried it and I'm like, oh, I want one for myself. So this is the Damon Blue Tansy 9 Natural Deodorant. Svetlana, the woman who runs Gressa, Damon is run by her husband, Steven. So it's kind of a brother company to Gressa. And he makes men's products, mostly skincare and a rollerball cologne, but then this was a new release sometime within, I wanna say the last year or maybe even two. I was starting to feel like my ingredients spray was maybe not cutting it this summer, or maybe my body just needs a break from it. So this is definitely stronger. I think it's a pretty good formula. It's working well, I'm a fan. Okay, I have one little exception to beauty products. It's more of a, an accessory, because I think maybe you'd be interested in them. I decided to try a couple of hair claws from the brand Machette. I have seen this brand circulating on social media for years and I'm a big, as you can probably tell, I, I use a lot of hair claws because they're just like very quick, right? You, do, you don't even have to style your hair. You can just do a half up or you can do 
a messy bun with it and I just overall find them less damaging to my hair than hair ties um, even like the silkier hair ties and ones that are not supposed to pull at your hair I just find a hair claw to be a lot less damaging on my hair. So I like them to date I mostly have had J crew that's what this one is. The impetus behind this order was that one of my favorite J. Crew hair claws broke. Uh, this spring mechanism broke, or one of my kids broke it, I forget. <laughs> uh, but I love this one and I, I miss it. I might try and directly replace it. So I picked up a couple from Machette. Now, my first impression is that they are not quite as nice as my J. Crew ones, just in terms of like the finish but the thing about machette is that they have like more interesting colors and patterns so for example i thought this was gorgeous this blue and white pattern um and i think you can get the pattern in like multiple shapes this one and then this is sort of the medium or maybe they even call this a large and then they have like a jumbo i'm not really a jumbo hair claw this is probably as big as i would go and it's similar to this size so people say like these are good the spring mechanisms are good i have to say my j crew ones feel a little bit higher quality but i'll keep an open mind okay let's end with this ayla beauty order i have kept it all packaged up i think this was over labor day that i placed this order i kind of forgot what i ordered but now we're gonna see yes this is right okay uh so i have a friend asti who i have met through patreon and she has given me a lot of really good ayla beauty recommendations i have a whole list from her and they were running a luzerne gift with purchase this is more of like a cosmeceutical type of brand i've heard of them I feel like back in the Carolyn Hirons heyday of 2017, maybe 2018, before things got bad. <laughs> but they were doing a gift with purchase and you know, why not, I guess. Uh, so let's see what's in here. It's actually quite a few things. I started subscribing to the Ayla newsletter, which comes every Sundays. I do recommend, I think that they're a nice boutique and um, based in San Francisco. I like the way they have their site organized. You can shop by country, which is kind of cool to see where all of these brands are from. So they carry Manasi from Sweden. My Half Torn is another Swedish brand. 12th Beauty from Spain, bunch of US brands. This is everything in there. So there's a cleansing cream, a SPF 50 mineral cream that I'm gonna guess. Oh, I think maybe it's all mineral. I don't know, this can be misleading though. It says it's titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, but sometimes they mix them with chemical sunscreens too, so I would have to check. Uh, this is the, a cleansing gelée, detox cleansing mask, emulsion six, and a serum absolute firming collagen booster. But that's a nice little freebie, right? Oh, and then I think it also came with this, which to be honest, I probably will just let my kids play with. It's like a little washcloth. <laughs> Okay, my Have Torn. So this is a repurchase for me, this lip balm. I am almost done with one. And for a while I was like kind of dissatisfied with it and I thought, gosh, like I just, I want something that's more luxe feeling. This is, I just don't know if this is it for me because it's just like a little chapstick-esque product, but it's good. It's very good. It's akin to an Osmia Lip Doctor, but somehow it's a little bit better. Uh, it's a little bit more refined, I guess. And it has sea buckthorn in it, which I love. You know, yeah, really nice ingredients, and I liked it enough to repurchase another one. I alternate between this and Infiori Velite on my lips. And then Asti recommended both of these products, actually. The My Have Torn Facial Cleanser. I can all, I go through cleansers more than any other skincare product for sure because I'm a dedicated double cleanser. And then this is the Liquid Hand and Body Wash. I'm always kind of stockpiling niche, nice um, hand washes. This I'm gonna use this as a hand wash, although I could stick it in the shower as well. I'm really curious what this smells like. Oh. Very nice. It's almost like pepperminty citrus, but that's really, really, really gorgeous. I, I think the thing that attracts me to this brand is the sea buckthorn. It's an ingredient I really like. My skin likes it. Feels very healing. And then I got a couple of hair care products, the Elave Sensitive Care Shampoo with Chamomile and the Biofficina Toscana conditioning hair repair mask with organic Tuscan extra virgin olive oil. Again, these were direct recommendations. She said she can use this as a, just her conditioner, not necessarily even as a treatment. So I'm down to try some new hair care products. And then I think I had, I don't know what the, what the little samples here are. I had requested some 
fragrance samples because I'm sort of curious about some of the fragrances they carry. Yeah, so they did send some. Oh, nice. Okay, they have this flower essence company. It's called Le Fleur de Bac. And so this is one of their perfumes, Ellis Brooklyn Myth and Ellis Brooklyn Salt. How nice. I actually really, I like Ellis Brooklyn. I use the Isogamma Super, although it's like missing in action right now. I like that as an eccentric molecule fragrance dupe. I do also have a couple of PR things, but I will be talking about these probably more on my live this weekend. Beauty Hero sent me the Utu mineral sunscreens that they're carrying, the SPF 50 and 30, which I've been trying. And then I recently got this Cypher uh, skincare duo in the October Boxwalla box and I have tried Night Shift. I probably am not gonna use 88 MPH because it's a retinol. So I'll be talking about those this weekend. My Beauty Heroes order should be coming in and again, I'll probably show that on my live. So please come over to Patreon if you would like ongoing M Shops content as it seems like I will only do these sporadically here on YouTube. Thank you guys for being here and I can't wait to see you soon.